Hey guys. Okay, so this week we've seen an increase in the number of people that have come to us with properties that are constrained by the mapped biodiversity overlay. These people have been absolutely shocked and horrified. When I've turned around and gone, yeah, so you, so you know that piddly little shed? Or you know that piddly little pool? Or as was most recently the case, that teeny tiny little deck? Yeah, it's gonna trigger a full blown town planning application. <gasps> yeah, they're not my friend in that moment. They don't like me so much. <laughs> So given the amount of shock and awe that I've seen this week, I thought, you know what? I need to use this week's video to spread some awareness about what the triggers and the exemptions are so that I don't need to deal with so many shocked and horrified people next week. So what do you need to know? Well, in super, super simple terms, if you have an approved DFP, so Development Footprint Plan, formally referred to as a BLE or Building Location Envelope on the property, and if the work that you're proposing is contained within the bounds of that DFP, then happy days. You can bypass town planning. Next, in super, super simple terms, if your property is less than a thousand square meters, then again, happy days, there's an exemption that covers you. However, if you're not doing work that is contained within an approved DFP, and if your property is greater than a thousand square meters, then I do not care how small the work is. I do not care how clear the area is of trees you are going to trigger a town planning application. And it is not a risk smart fast track application, people. No, it's a full blown team application. We're talking two to three months. I hate to break it to you guys, Dems de rules. Okay, so that covers everything that I wanted to talk about this week. As I always say, until next time, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane Town Planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah. The views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all. Bye.